Hello guys, thank you very much for joining in. Hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves and help students to prepare for FRM and CFA exam also. Now, FRM exam is in is going to start in a few days. So I just wanted to share with you a few checklists which the student should keep in mind when they go for the actual exam day. Okay, and these checklists are important. These are also uh, given explicitly by the GARP Institute. So let us go through these checklist one by one okay first and the foremost the institute expect you to come to the center at least 30 minutes before the time allotted to you okay you must have done the scheduling of your exam whatever that start time is please make sure that you arrive to the center before that time itself okay and over here i would like to point out that certain centers the location Okay, the Google location that is might be provided by the institute might not match with the actual location of the center. So please make sure that you do your due, due diligence before that and you reach the center as early as possible. The second most important point that is required for the exam is that you need to carry your government issued driver license and the passport. Okay, and the major point is that whatever government of documentation that you're going to be carrying those documentation has to be valid okay so this has been given by the institute that you have to carry either a driving license or a passport okay now when we talk about the driving license or passport they have to be valid that means it should not be expired okay a lot of people their uh, their passports are uh, expired and they take it to the exam and they are not allowed to sit for it okay also you have to carry the original of it don't carry uh, the photocopy colored photocopy of it a lot of people they carry the colored photocopy of their driving license which is not allowed you have to make sure that you have the original with you and the document should have your photograph which should match to your uh, to your appearances okay now over here a lot of people they have uh, uh, the driving license on which their photo is not clearly visible so that can create a problem for you when you go for the exam so make sure that Whatever photo that you have on the on the documentation, okay, should match with your appearance on the day of the exam. Further, if you're using a driving license, this is very, very important. Okay, why? Because if you're using a driving license and you're using it, for example, in US market, when you, your center is in US, your driving license should be of US government issued. It, you should not have an Indian driving license. That will not help. So it should have it should be of the same country where the center is going to be there so this is the first and the foremost requirement which is the uh, identification proof that you are supposed to carry in the exam okay and whatever is the name of your uh, or that you have on your appointment letter and the confirmation letter that name should ideally match with your uh, institute uh, with your identification proof either driving license or a passport okay the name middle name should match the order doesn't matter Okay, but the, the concerned person at the center should be able to recognize that this is your own driving license or this is your own passport. Okay, so order of the names doesn't matter, but your first name, middle name and your surname ideally should match. So if you have given your first name and last name in your guard uh, confirmation email, then that those at least those things, those two things should match to your exam documentation. Further, you have to carry a printed version of the GAR confirmation email. Electronic version is not accepted. You have to get the printed copy of the confirmation email. Now, what is this confirmation email? When you schedule your exam, you must be getting an email from the institute that this is your exam day, this is the location. That email confirmation is required. Okay, this is the second most important document that is needed. Further, Institute also allows you to carry an approved calculator. So one of the approved calculator is Texas Instrument. Now in that Texas Instrument BA2, it is there is plus, there is professional also. You can carry both of them. There is HP calculator that is also okay to be taken care. There is a proper list of approved calculator that I think so students should be sure about before they go for the Institute exam. Okay, and they have to make sure that it is advisable that uh, on the day of the exam, Okay, the uh, participants or the candidate make sure that their calculator has sufficient battery. If not, they can carry an alternate or a second calculator with them. A lot of students they carry batteries also. 
okay but my suggestion would be carry a second calculator with you if any of your friend is giving a cfa exam or some any some other exam they also have a similar calculator which you can use during the exam point okay so at an overall level three important things are required you to carry first of all your identification which is passport or a driver's license your test confirmation email and the calculator okay now apart from that all the other things like for example the uh, uh, water bottle your calc your other uh, mobile phones your any other gadget okay paper pencil nothing is allowed inside the exam center okay you can keep it in your bag outside but in the exam center it is not allowed in the exam they will be giving you a pencil they will be giving you a sheet of papers to do your rough work so don't worry on that part okay but these three things are primarily important for your exam exam day so please make sure that you don't forget that list okay now if you like my videos then definitely you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also if you want if you are looking out to prepare for your exam for next exam then you can take out some free material which is available over here and free excel study planner and do subscribe to our telegram channel which is frm updates where i keep on posting regular content and you can reach out to us on my whatsapp number which is this and i am available on youtube linkedin and on instagram also thank you guys